Meghan made a departure from her usual monochrome color palette today stepping out in a red and purple ensemble. However, the Duchess of Sussex relied on an old favorite when it came to the designer, opting for a red version of the centaur coat she had worn to her first Sandringham Christmas back in 2017. Pregnant Meghan, 37, wore a bright red take on the baby alpaca coat during her visit to Merseyside with Prince Harry on Monday. She also owns a camel version of the 1,085 pounds coat from the Canadian brand which she was able to tie at the waist during her first royal Christmas. However, with her baby bump now bigger than ever the former actress wore the scarlet version open allowing her purple babbitton by Aratiz address to peek through. The Canadian designer appears to be a firm favourite among the royals with the Duchess of Cambridge previously spotted in a centaur jacket. Kate was seen wearing a 774 pounds grey jacket during a visit to Yukon, Canada in 2016. Meghan completed her ensemble today with a pair of rouge stiletto court shoes and could be seen carrying a tan leather bag costing £1,695 by Gabriella Hurst. The Uruguay-based designer describes herself as creating honest luxury taking ethics and key values into consideration while designer her bags. When it came to her hair the mother-to-be relied on her signature low bun for a busy day of engagements in the town of Birkenhead. They began their visit at Hamilton Square to view a new sculpture erected in November to mark the 100th anniversary of Wilfred Owen's death. The statue, which is named after one of the Birkenhead War poet's poems, Futility, is cast in bronze and represents an exhausted World War I solider. They will unveil a plaque to mark the visit, before meeting local veterans and members of the Birkenhead Institute Old Boys, of which poet Wilfred Owen belonged to and which played a part in the creation of the tribute. Harry and Meghan will then have the opportunity to meet members of the public gathered in Hamilton Square. This afternoon they are set to visit tomorrow's Women Wirral, an organization that supports women in vulnerable circumstances. Initially established in 2011 to support women upon their release from prison, Tomorrow's Women Wirral has since expanded and now offers an extensive range of training courses and workshops for more than 6,000 local women. These include support groups around mental health issues, domestic abuse, and addiction. Harry and Meghan will hear directly from the women about their experiences, before visiting the on-site charity shop, cafe, and inspiration hall. They will wrap up their Merseyside tour with a visit to the Hive Wirral Youth Zone. Created by the charity on Sign Youth Zones, which is developing 21st century youth facilities across the UK, the Hive provides a safe environment where young people can come and enjoy themselves, building key skills and raising their aspirations and confidence. The royal couple will meet young members as they take part in a number of activities and workshops throughout the centre, before unveiling a plaque to mark the visit. Pregnant Meghan who is expecting her first child with Harry this spring, is continuing to keep a busy schedule packed with royal engagements. The mother-to-be has already stepped out once in London last week and the couple will also make an appearance on Wednesday to watch Cirque du Soleil's totem at the Royal Albert Hall, as part of a fundraising campaign for Harry's charity sent to ball. It comes after a Vanity Fair report suggested Meghan has asked Tate to fill her diary right up to her due date and plans to carry out several more engagements over the next few months. The baby's due date has not been confirmed. The Duchess of Cambridge, 37, went on maternity leave on 22nd of March last year, a month before the birth of Prince Louis on 23rd of April.